hello welcome to June 15th this is a this is a banner day here in this house lots of good stuff happening here I hope the same for you I just bought myself a house all by myself <laughs> wow I just I, I am very much uh, happy to share this happy news with you a little personal news that has been a long time in coming, so I am thrilled to be sharing that with you today. All right, going to send those vibes your way. Anybody looking to get a new place or get something new off the ground? Whatever, 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 whatever. Just saying. Just saying. All right, let's, let's get going here. Let's get going here. Tonight. Tonight, I am going to be doing a little special live for those of our, uh, those of you who are on our memberships. I'm going to do it like a special, just, hey, maybe a Q&A like we do on Thursdays. That'll be super fun. Grace and Gratitude, Desert Passage. If you're not part of our memberships, you can check it out below. There's links and stuff. In the flow, baby. In the flow. I feel like this is a before and after. I feel like, you know, you set out to do something. And um, for a while there, didn't know what the heck you were doing. But it's going to come back around. If you, if you have really put some hard work and some effort into something, some real dedication and um, exuberance and joy, things are about to get a lot easier. Okay? If you feel like you don't know what's going on or where you're going right now, things are about to get easier. All right? So let's see where we go here. What is going on, my darling? What is going on? All right, I'll use this different. I'll use this modified Celtic cross. Uh, Page of Wands underneath. Oh, yeah. Ten of Wands. Check that out. Ace of Wands. You are the Ten of Wands. It's about to get easier. Look at that. Ace of Wands. Wow. About to be reinvigorated, re-inspired. Judgment. This is the uh, opportunity. Ace of Swords. This is what the universe is saying. You are living your authentic, your best authentic life here. Wow. Hierophant as the, um, how we got here. We'll talk about this in a second. Five of Cups. What the heck? Knight of Swords in uh, the recent past. Nine of Cups. You're getting your wish, my darling. Moon. I feel like there's some kind of trade-off here. All right, I feel like there is some kind of trade-off. Could be dealing with a Sag, a Virgo, a Cancer, a Taurus. Okay, so in order to follow your truth, in order to be who you really are, in order to, you know, do the thing you're here to do, I feel like you had to put down, you did put down some kind of burden, okay? And it might have not, been easy knight of swords um it might have happened really fast might have happened really fast where it just went from one life to another it just went from you know this is one experience to the next like ba bam there you go and i almost feel like you didn't really know that it was going to be like that that like one day you're in this, in the, like the fog. And then the next day it's like, I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. Everything's good. So what's showing up for you here is, um, big decision. I also feel like the universe is really trying to give you some new information. So some of you could be opening up to your gifts of Claire audience. You could be, finally paying attention to your dreams, finally paying attention to those tarot readings you do for yourself every day. Okay. Finally understanding what it all means. How we got here. Some of you are here because you might have had some kind of taskmaster in your life, some kind of difficult person sort of cracking the whip. Okay. Um, 
coming up on Father's Day this weekend, and so there could be some of you who, for better or for worse, whether the experience was good or not good in your estimation, um, I feel like there's some kind of meaningfulness to that experience of someone was really hard on you. It's kind of like, you know, you go back to that geometry teacher who really kicked your ass and you're like, you know, thank you for that geometry teacher. Maybe geometry teacher, maybe science teacher, maybe a math teacher, maybe an English teacher. Somebody who really um, put your feet to the fire, held you accountable. Okay. And I do feel like I feel like now you're grateful for that grace and gratitude and even though it sucked at the time that it was happening I feel like you're grateful for it now all right so becoming inspired the ace of wands and then the page of wands underneath now you're becoming inspired I'm gonna clarify this five of cups uh, some kind of loss some kind of regret um, and getting what you want does that mean that like you're not going to be able to hang on to some people or, or some kind of way of being? You know what I'm saying? Like this is, this is, I mean, I'm just going to say this, you, this might sound a little outlandish to you, but if you become famous, I'm going to use that word famous, not even rich, because that's not really what we're talking about. We're talking about, a shift, well, it can change your life. Money can change your life, um, for sure. Um, fame can really change your life. You know, something that kind of moves you out of a stuck place. Some, you know, some work that you've done. You put a lot of time and effort into a thing. And it was a lot of hard, a lot of hard labor. Somebody cracked the whip on you. And you're finally getting the accomplishment finally realizing the accomplishment of it. So you're getting your wish, nine of cups, moon. What shows up here, we're getting into that full moon in Capricorn territory pretty soon. And that Saturnian energy of, you know, put in the hard labor and then see the, the fruits of your labor, you know, planting a garden a couple months later, all the beautiful flowers or vegetables or whatever it is. And I feel like at first you didn't really understand why you had to do this. Karate Kid is a good example of this when he's teaching him wax on, wax off. For those of you who don't know what Karate Kid is, I know I'm dating myself here, but Karate Kid of wax on, wax off, he didn't understand all these little things. He's like, why am I doing this? I'm trying to kick that kid's ass. Kick that kid's ass. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? And Mr. Miyagi is just like, just do it. And so after a while, when he's finally, you know, in the ring, he finally understands. He's like, oh, this is a move. This is an actual move. Plus, Mr. Miyagi got his car washed. So <laughs> um, I feel like there's something to do with, like, hard work and self-confidence. You know, the, the, there's nothing like overcoming an obstacle for yourself. Whether you got, you got a lot of help from your ancestors and from your guides and things like that. Whether you know it or not, consciously or unconsciously, you've got a lot of, a lot of people in your corner, a lot of spirit in your corner, and the universe is definitely working to help you. Um, I feel like some new information is coming in that comes in, really is setting the stage for a brand new part of your life, Queen of Wands here. And whether you know it's coming or you don't know it's coming, I almost feel like you don't know. Trust that there's a divine plan. I feel like you might not know how different this, if, if you, what I was starting to say about the fame thing is if you all of a sudden, let's just not, not, not like a 15 second of fame, like winning the lottery or something. Cause that's, that's not really an accomplishment at all. Um, I'm talking about doing something, you know, like write a book. You write a book or you, you know, um, work on some kind of amazing new breakthrough or discovery, or it's something that you've put time and effort and really, you know, dragging the rest of us with you. Um, something about, you know, that has to do with helping others, something that has to do with um, getting yourself into a better position financially, 
spiritually, emotionally, physically, you know, you lost 120 pounds. There's something here of like long and sustained effort was required. Okay. So if this is something in the future, this, um, Taurus energy is next. We're, st we're in June. So this is next May, right? Taurus. Um, if you haven't started yet, the universe is making some offers to you um, that you know, if you don't know where you're going, the universe is making some offers to you, some clarity, some inspiration. So it's time to pay attention. Okay. It's time to pay attention because you've been up until now, you've been slaving away and that's not really what you're here to do. Okay. You're not, it, it, you're learning some skills and these skills can be transferred into what you're doing. Awesome. Um, I feel like you're getting your wish and the fame, I keep starting this story about the fame and I don't finish it. Regardless of what Entourage says, the show Entourage, there's definitely a differential when you accomplish something and you, and you're in this, right? This, this 3d world of hierarchy where accomplishments are treated like you're up here and people are down here. Other people are down here. Okay. So, in the 3D world of fame, you can see that where, you know, people get separated from other people because of that stuff. This makes me feel like you're going to be even more in the, in it than separating yourself away. You know what I mean? Like you want to really get yourself into it. It, whatever it is that you want to do on this planet, whatever your North Node placement is, whatever your spiritual path is, and I feel like the universe is going to kind of move things aside so you can get this, all right? So you can connect to, you know, your calling, your following. You got to listen. You got to pay attention, okay? The universe is trying to give you new inspiration about these things. Let me clarify the Five of Cups here. That's what I meant by the Five of Cups. It's like sometimes people... You know, when you kind of do something, you have some kind of accomplishment, sometimes other people can fall away, not even, you know, consciously. It's just like they're going in one direction and you're going another. Please clarify this five of cups for me. Yeah, six of pentacles, king of wands. Oh, baby, five of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Look at all those pentacles. This has to do with abundance. You got nine of pentacles here. And I feel like what's around you, look at this life partner, first of all, King of Wands and Queen of Wands. And I feel like what you have around you are people who need your help. So the Five of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles around you, like you're doing a good job of being in this, whatever it is that you're opening up to, your calling, your mission, Ten of Pentacles. This is something, and I'm not really, I don't know if I'm talking about money. I feel like what I'm talking about is sustainable stability, sustainable, right? So you know that what you're doing is not only helping people, but it's expanding your own growth. It's expanding your own stability. It's expanding your, your way in the world. It's expanding your wealth. It's expanding your options new people showing up really in the flow of things. Okay. Really in the flow of things. I feel like by next May. Okay. I know this, I know that that's a long, this is a year we're talking. Okay. Let me clarify that in terms of timing. Oh, okay. Your partner could be an inspiration to you or you and a partner can be inspirational to other people. It's not like you're attracting this person because of money or attracting this person because they've done something and you haven't, or you've done something and they haven't. You guys are on the same page here. So chariot, queen of pentacles. Wow. Three of swords, two of pentacles. So some of you will have left behind a situation where you were taken care of and you're going to step out into the world and be an inspiration and take care of others in a healthy way, not in a codependent way, right? In this, you know, this is an interdependent relationship here. 
uh, King of Wands and Queen of Wands. This is an interdependent, meaning we do things for each other, we need each other from a certain perspective, we love each other, we respect each other, we um, care for each other, but we don't get into the codependency pieces anymore. We don't fall down those rabbit holes of, you know, overdoing, overgiving in any way, shape, or form. This is a very healthy relationship that's showing up here. This can also be, a, <coughs> excuse me, a business partner. All right. I feel like you might um, have left someone behind here that wasn't this someone who was more immature, who didn't realize the long-term consequences of their actions or whatever. You had places to go and people to see, my friend. Okay? Uh, please clarify the moon for me. Nine of Wands, Six of Swords, Four of Swords, Hanged Man. So some of you could be, you know, really opening up to your healing gifts Some of you could be a little afraid of moving on from what you know into a world that's much bigger. Some of you could be resistant to that. But I feel like the healing, what's going on here, there's some healing for you. It's also like a mindset around how money works and how financial stability can play a role in healing and and healthy relationships and things along those lines. Interdependence as opposed to codependence, okay? Uh, I feel like you're healing all of that. You're healing um, victim mentality. You're healing a lot here. What's the uh, judgment, ace of swords? Some of you could have a family who has a, who has a very um, scarcity mindset and that you're moving away from that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Devil energy, page of pentacles, seven of wands, magician in reverse. Uh, I feel like some of you have held yourself back because of your family's um, position on money or the unconscious messages that you received around money, that you wouldn't be able to do things, that that's not, you know, you started from a humble beginning, so there's nothing for you. Um, you may also be somebody who is thought to be like, um, you know, not really able to do anything. How, you know, how, how could you really earn a living or how could you really have anything to offer? Just like some terrible things here. Uh, but I feel like you are really getting a sense that that's just their opinion. And if not only was it their opinion, sad that that is, but it was really from a place of we're scared what if you succeed that means i fail or if you succeed that means i get less or if you succeed that means i'm no longer the chosen child or something like that a little bit um i forget which what movie this was unlimited was this unlimited um or a show or something like that where this kid kid he was probably in his early 30s not a kid um uh, but you know obviously that was kind of the thrust of the show that he was the baby of the family and he was like 29, 30 and everyone's like, when are you going to get your life together? You know, that kind of experience. And his parents weren't bad people. It didn't seem, didn't seem like they were really awful or anything. It just was like, that's, that was the mindset of the family. And so he was, he had signed up for some kind of experiment where you take a pill, kind of like red pill, blue pill, you know, in the matrix. And it made him like a savant. He was able to do a lot of things, read people's minds, crack some codes, do, you know, just know things. And, you know, he was working for the FBI, not the FBI, CIA or something like that. And so his family was all of a sudden like, look how successful you are. You're just like this. And they sep they put him on a pedestal and they put him, you know, separate from the story that they had about his growing up. And he was like, I'm the same freaking person. And his his partner or his his girlfriend was like, "No, you're not. 
that little pill is what's separating you from where you were before. And he was kind of making the, the story about like, why didn't my family think I was an awesome person just for who I am? Why did I have to take a pill and have that be, you know, all of a sudden I'm something special now, you know what I mean? And so I feel like what is coming here is that you're all of a sudden doing something, you are doing it. It's not coming from someone else or something else. You're doing, based on your authenticity and your own inspiration, it's coming from your connection to your guide. Something is coming in here that's going to elevate you to this next level of your experience. You're going to be able to have the downloads. You're going to be able to open to guidance from, you know, like we're really busting through just the intuitive thing. I'm just so intuitive. It's not, I mean, you're busting through into psychic, you're busting through into shaman, you're busting through, right? You're like going a big step. This is a big step. I also feel like um, there's a partner here that is, it's not about money. It's about long-term sustainable stability. Not in a gr drudgery kind of way either. This is in a creative way. This is in an authentic way. Okay? Yes. So between now and next May, um, I feel like there's uh, the universe is going to be sharing with you this new consciousness. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your tarot. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Heads up, okay? Um, I'm going to continue on with this. I will look at any signs that have come up here. I see Capricorn. I see, I see Taurus here. Virgo, all the earth signs. I see the fire signs, Sag. So I'll take it. Mars, uh, Aries is here. And then there's uh, Cancer there. Cancer here too. Um, so I'll take a look at these in the extended. If you're part of our Pathfinder group, the rest of the reading starts right now. If you're not, there's a link below to follow me over there anyway. <laughs> I'll see you over there.